What am I going to do about this rusty door? Hang on a second. Jesus, that was simple. I think this is why with rust you should never say, oh, it's not too bad. As soon as you scrape away the surface rust, you can see there's pinholes all the way through this pocket on the corners. Um, and here, it's riddled with rust really. On the door, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to work this in sections. So, this. this piece is going to go on top, and you can see here that I have folded, left heaps of top on it just so I can get it right, um, bent it all the way along, and then it's going to fold down, and now I'm going to fold it out. Um, and back again. So I've just measured the lip here and marked it on here. And then I'm going to put that in my 5 inch vise folder and fold that along and then it's going to come down and then I'm going to bend this section around here and then I will cut along here. Um, obviously this is going to be straight. I'm going to straighten this up and then I'm going to cut it out and weld it. I'm going to do this in sections. Here's the current situation. Um, I've made this piece which bends over underneath and it's going to go on top of there. Clamp it on, cut it out and then underneath here 
is where I will do my cut along the bottom here to weld it so it bypasses the rust and then I need to make this section as well. Okay, so that was a good challenge. Now, this is definitely not Trev's blog, but it's actually been um, a challenge. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm sick of whinging and saying, oh, it was really hard. It was, but it was actually a good challenge. You know, I could have paid someone um, to do it and not have to buy the tools, but it wouldn't have been as, as um, interesting an experience. So anyway, yeah, I have to trim the top off and I'm not going to chase every single pinhole. That's just ridiculous. You can't see any of this once the pocket's on and the door skin's on. It's the right height. Check behind. The other side of it. Well, enough mucking around. This is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to use my old door. And I'm going to cut myself a panel, cut that out, and then I'm going to use a mallet to bash it into shape using this as the template. I'll give that a go. found a replacement for the mini rubber cone suspension. So this is where I'm at. It's like a constant exploration of how much I suck. That's what it feels like, it's so hard. But um, yeah, old panel. This is my new panel that I've bent. Um, I messed up in that I didn't leave myself enough sheet metal. So when I've folded it here, I've missed out, it doesn't quite get up to the edge. 
Uh, typical. I thought I'd left heaps, but um, you know, I really underestimated how much I would need. I tried to make sure that I didn't have too much material because it's just so hard to fold when there's just that little bit of extra material. So, um, yeah, the idea is that I'm actually going to do it in two parts. Um, I'm going to weld this section in first this is from my old door skin, which I'm obviously going to clean up so it's all shiny metal. It should be okay. There's no rust in this. There's no rust in this section, amazingly, because uh, it's the centre of the door. And then I'm going to make these end bits separately, which won't be too hard, I think. Um, although that's easier said than done so we'll see what happens but basically I just clamped this to the old panel and then used um, a couple of things I've got a dolly that was the right sort of shape and the dolly actually just fitted in here quite well and allowed me to actually use this as a bit of a form and um, I also used my this here to actually just clamp it in there tightly this is this way around and I just squeezed it because it's got this profile I just squeezed it all the way along and it actually made it squeeze into the shape of the panel so not bad um, but yeah I've got to do some shrinking because it doesn't quite fit sticks up at the end so I've got to do a little bit of um, stretching here and a little bit of shrinking on this side to try to get it to fit. So I've got my shrinker in the vise and I'll have a go at that. But it's actually coming along. So here's the pocket, you see the end piece here hasn't been panel bit round yet to make it you know, properly round, it's a bit of an edge there, so I can beat that into alignment. Um, this is where the new panel's been welded on, the other edge, not super pretty but it should clean up okay. And all in all the rust is gone. Inside is going to be cleaned up. I have to weld, I have to cut a hole here and some drain holes in the pocket there. But um, yeah, you can see the inside piece of the pie there. So after a bit of grinding and some cleaning up, it should be pretty presentable. Obviously, going to get all this paint off. I'm just going to blast it off or use my. Um, Use my paint removing wheel. So, yep, shape's pretty good. Okay, so this is my nearly complete doll pocket. Ready to go back on the door. Got my drain holes in the bottom. Good. Mm -hmm. 